think we got company, Toots. Wonder what she wants of us. I think perhaps she wants to be alone. See if Miss Garbo's hungry, shall we? Hey, it's not for you, you greedy beast. You're not a film star. Not yet, anyway. You're no wild dog, are you? There's a tyke. She's shy and canny. And she's slowly coming near. She's as cautious as me granny, but will overcome her fear. Oh. We know a trick or two, don't we, Toots? Let's see what your majesty thinks of this, shall we? There's your dinner, your highness. Eat up. Come on, Toots. We seem to have made a friend after all. Put it down in the road, and it's no good. Too well trained. Put it down in a bowl. That was the secret. That made it all right. Are you going to have to come along with us if you want any more? Boys and girls, to the terrifying tale of Androcles and the Lion. What are you doing up there, Toots? Come down. <laughs> We're looking after the children. Who wants to see a trick by Toots, the Wonder Dog? Me! Up you go. <laughs> There you are. A round of applause, please. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the terrifying tale of Androcles and the Lion. Your Highness, if you please. You're doing 
fine, Your Majesty. You're doing fine. So Androcles found himself alone in the desert when suddenly he heard a strange sound. The poor slave Androcles was very frightened by the lion, but then he noticed something unusual. Looking closely, Androcles saw there was a thorn in the lion's paw, and that's why the lion was so unhappy. So plucking up his courage, he took hold of the lion's paw and plucked out the thorn. The angel Gabriel got a bit of a black eye last year, so this year he'll have a new head. I reckon he'll be all right for Christmas. What do you think? Beginning to feel the cold, are you? Uh, winter's coming. I think we're not going to make the Riviera this season, Your Majesty. It's time to head back. You like it at home, won't you, Toots? Well, we best get tidied up. Get an early start tomorrow. What the hell is that? It's a bloody midget. Is it now? Or are we looking at a blooming dwarf? What? Dwarves or midgets? Have to be sensitive about these things. Dwarves are richer. They dig for gold. Then let's call it a dwarf. Do you think he'll have it with him? The gold. Let's go and ask the little fella, shall we? Dog, little fella. It's all right. We ain't doing nothing. Quiet down, Your Majesty. Quiet down. Toots. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, are you having a cuppa? Isn't that nice? Could you just spare a swallow for a couple of homeless chaps looking for work? Got a fresh caught rabbit we could let you have by way of exchange. You're welcome, friend. Water's almost boiled. Tea's in the wagon. I'll just get it. No hurry. Is there, mate? No hurry at all. Only sorry we missed the show. Big audience, was it? Bet you make quite a killing this time of year. Christmas coming and all that. Come on, where is it? The gold. Because if you're nice and hand it over, we won't hurt you. Will we, Mr. S? No. We won't hurt you. Afraid I haven't got any gold. Just tea. So you want it the old way, do you, Litlin? Fair enough. Because <laughs> I'm just staying there, getting here after him, you blooming coward. Ah, oh, you little beggar! Majesty, Toots and I can take care of ourselves. Oh, you want some of this, do you? Is this what you want? Come on, my little beauty. Mm. Go on, get out of it. <laughs> what a dog. You see, little fella, even your best friend can't stand by. We'll get underneath the wagon, I'll get the fish. Right. Snickers, where are you? There's no sign of him under here. I'm aware.
Darling, you put up a pretty good fight, didn't you know? Quiet, Your Majesty. She has much time left. Seven years we've been together, and I couldn't have asked for better company. What blessings he has to spare, may God give them to you now. says his father notices even the fall of a single sparrow. So trusting in him, we commend our dear friend to his bosom. Come then, Your Majesty. Don't want to? Well, perhaps it's best that way. Still want to go south, do you? Winter in the Riviera. With all the other la di -das. I'd like to go with you, but winter's coming. And I best be getting back home. Besides, you'd always be reminding me of my toots, wouldn't you, lass? Ah, nay. That's the pity of it. You can understand my language, but I can't understand yours. And it's us that's supposed to be the most intelligent. We had some pretty good times together, didn't we? Off you go, then. And may luck go with you. Off you go. Come on, then, old girl. Time to head for home. Quick, quick. 